wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. Alright folks, the love affair with Cyano continues today with uh, a card I haven't used before in conjunction with Cyano, using the popular Erland of Larvik. So this deck is uh, inspired by a uh, pretty popular deck at the moment, Pincer Maneuver Styles. But uh, when you slip in Cyana into the piece, it can get very chunky indeed. So we're doing that whole double draug thing, which uh, is a lot of fun. So let's run through it. The idea is to get as many of these bad boys, the Kedwini Revenants, as possible. And you shuffle them back with your Pavetta. Going to have a bunch of them in your deck. You've slammed in Cyana. Get a double boost on every unit in your deck with Erland. Chunky, chunky boy, who's going to be immune as well. So, what are we doing here? We got the Pincer Maneuver, of course. Get you any Northern Realms card you want. Spawn a Volunteer. Charges of two. We got both Echo cards. Get what you need. But the Amphibious Assault, of course, you can use it the once, because it will come back as long as there's no squirrels to speak of. But you're going to want to transform it with your Land of a Thousand Fables which will become a second Draug. So maybe round one, you'd use one Draug. Round two, use the other. Get as many of those Revenants as possible. Uh, what else have we got here? Your Earl and your Cyana, your Land of a Thousand Fables. Queen of Dahlia is a great opener, folks, and you can be guaranteed to get it with your Pincer Maneuver, but uh, don't play it first, because you draw a card with a 10-card hand, it'll go straight into your graveyard. You don't want that. So, but Queen of Dahlia onto a uh, PFI, beautiful place, and you can play maybe one or even two more, get that bonded, get those units, those humans, and uh, transform them with your Draug, of course. Uh, Voimir is pretty good when you do have a bunch of Revenants on the board as well. Reinforcements can be used on uh, several things. Uh, maybe another PFI. <sighs> Come on. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty versatile card. And being a spell, you can get it with your Land of a Thousand Fables, because you don't want to brick this fella. Same thing with your Smoke Amounts. Going to get you another two humans on the board. Maybe boosted, if you already can re uh, retain. If you already own. Whatever. Whatever. If you already have a boosted unit, okay? But being specials, good for the Land of a Thousand Fables. What else? We got two uh, just vanilla revenants as well. Two siege ladders. These can really help you to uh, free up your rows, okay? You don't want to self-clog your rows with those revenants. One squirrel, depending on the matchup, may come in handy. And uh, yeah, then we got two Kedwenny Sergeants, two Radovids Rule Guards, which, uh, you know, they're not too bad. Pretty good proactive plays. In a late game, they can help to protect your Cyana just a little bit as well. And uh, two Ballistas to help set up your Revenants just a little bit. Okay, so uh, enough faffing about. Let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. Alright, Imposter Styles. If they play a lot of spies, that could really mess with the amount of stuff we got available. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's just get started here, folks. Okay, so we got a Dahlia, we got the PFI, got a reinforcements for a second PFI, and we have a Drow Styles. So. Yeah, this is looking okay, folks. It's looking okay. But this could be a tough matchup. Could be one for the ages. <sighs> Alright, come on. What you got, fella? Come on. In terms of his leader, he could use it on a revenant, but uh, that's about it. Sure. Not a problem. Not a problem. 
Let's get this party started, shall we? Pairfire styles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful opening play. In the tradition of the Great American West. That's how we start these games. So, I think we get down now uh, this other Pairfire. And uh, then we, we start this drag party, folks. We've got a siege ladder as well to help clear up our melee row if need be. Ooh, do we want a Draug? Do we want a Draug immediately? So we can't, uh, good grass, this bad boy. Really? I think we have a very tempting Draug here right now, folks. Gets rid of this poison. I mean, the lock doesn't matter, but it does neuter the Master of Disguise. And it gets rid of this Joaquim. But... Does it give it enough? Give us enough. Maybe we use a leader charge to get at least a volunteer there as well. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret it, but that's okay. Now, if he clogs this row with that, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. I think what we will do is uh, smoke them out. We have a boosted unit, so uh, they come down for three. That clears up some space. And next we draug, folks. We draug like nobody's business. It's time. So this looks like some sort of uh, poison specialist. Let's see what you got, fella. Currently at 23 points apiece. He's got one passive point on the Master of Disguise, granted. Let's see what he brings to the table. Come on. Sure. Okay, so he kills what? Joaquin? Alright. So I guess we didn't need to fear... We didn't need to fear the... Uh, the uh, coup de grace action, as it were. Oh well. But it did put uh, Joaquin back into the graveyard, so... Who's to say there could be some shenanigans with their, uh, you know, the location. Putting it back here and uh, playing it yet again. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, sure, sure. Not a problem. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. well, we can kill that. Was that worth it, fella? I don't know that it was. Uh, no, sorry, we'll use these ones, I feel. Very nice indeed. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is move this one down here, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, we can kill this one as well. Beautiful plays. And, uh, yeah, then we still got some ones here as well to kill. If these two survive the piece. So we're doing okay. I think that was a real waste of old Vadia there, pal. Potential misplay. And we've got leader out of him. Granted, granted, he's got his Master of Disguise going. Okay. I think we might just get another one of these, shall we? Why not? Why not indeed? That'll do. Very nice plays. Wow, Masquerade Ball has entered the fray, folks. 
laid on in the piece. Um, if we pass here, he could take a tie. How do we feel about that? I think what we're going to do, we're going to do that. We do that. And uh, let's get the value off this Voimir, folks. I don't think we're going to get better value than that. And... Yeah, I'll use this final one, I feel. That'll do. We've got a 20-point lead here. Even with his Masquerade Ball and his Master of Disguise engine, I think we're looking rather favourable. But who's to say in these dark times? What? Really, dude? All right. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to take the pass here. I feel. Yeah, we can't. We can't get any more. Take the bloody round, pal. Weird kind of deck. Oh, well, that's an aristocrat. That will trigger Chapter 2 of the Masquerade Ball story, no doubt. But he's two cards down and without a leader to speak of. So, uh, let's see let's see what he's got. Now, we do like to uh, draug, do two draugs, but uh, I feel we'll probably face a dry pass. So we may just have to put up with what we got. Let's see here. Good. Good stuff. That could get us our Nero. Yeah, alright. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's get a Nero Styles. And uh, we're going to use up the Smoke Amount. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because obviously, uh, that being a spell. It's not going to help out our Erland, you know what I'm saying? So, we may go for the second Draug. We may do. May well do, folks. Hmm. We've already got a decent amount, decent amount, but we would like more. Feeling greedy in these dark times. And we, with our leader, we can get another two volunteers onto the board. We can get... Whatever we darn well please. So I think we will. Yeah, why not? So let's transform that. We're going to use leader to get PFI. And we'll put back, yeah. Put back this one. Do we want to use it? What else could we darn well want here, folks? Maybe we'll save it. Let's put that. Very nice indeed. So, uh, maybe we'll use the second leader charge for the siege ladder. Clear up some space, you know what I'm saying? But we do have a Nero as well to get us anything we want. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get siege ladder into the fro. And we'll put back uh, one of these royal guards. And yeah, second drag time, baby. Beautiful blows. Now, let's think this through. Uh, at some stage, we're going to have to play Princess Pavetta. It would be good to get even a couple more of these bad boys into, the, uh, into our graveyard before that. Okay, interesting. Interesting blows. Nothing we can do about it. Um, so we could kill Magna Division. Yeah, alright, let's do that. I know it uses them all up, but uh, it kills that engine, you know what I'm saying? Pesky, pesky engine piece. 
And yeah, I feel oh, I should have finished off with this one. Oh well, potential misplot. Ah, uh, now he kills. Now he locks that bad boy, huh? Huh. Well played, fella. Well played. All right. <clears throat> well, that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Put those back now. So uh, these are all units here, folks. Twenty-one units in the deck. Absolutely nothing to sneeze at. Although with a Nero, we will be uh, drawing yet another. Granted. So, what is our best bet for helping to protect our Cyana? Well, it's going to be the Rat of its Royal Guards. Going to have to play that now. If it survives, fantastic. If not, nothing we can do about it. Now, let's see if he plays Old Mate Damo. That would be devastating. Ooh. Okay, well, that doesn't help. That does not help him whatsoever. So, he might still... Okay, so it gets him a couple of volunteers. Okay. So, it's a three, four, five, six, seven point card. Well, we must Cyana now, folks. Give it a bit of a protection. But if he's got a lock or Yennefer's Invocation or some such, nothing we can do about it. It is devastating, no doubt. What you got, pal? <coughs> okay. That bodes well, folks. So Anna Styles onto the Earl and here. Don't know. Don't know that it really matters. There we go. Very nice indeed. So then uh, we simply a Nero for you know. Probably the other Rat of its Royal Guards, which will come out in spite in the piece. Strange deck, but I like it. I like to see unusual pieces. Is he going to let me finish it? Don't. Let me finish, please, 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 please. Oh, that's a chunky Earl, and, and I must apologise for the BM here, fella. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me play it out, folks. 46-point Earl, and you'll love to see it. And it's as easy as that, folks. Let's do it one more time. Let's go. Alrighty, double cross, could be assimilate, could be all manner of dastardly things, could be a uh, clog, poisonage, who's to say in these dark times, we do have both our echo cards available, um, we'll get rid of that and that, thank you so much, so, I think what we'll do here, folks, is uh, open with a humble baluster there, folks. And then what we can do is use our leader ability to get us our Queen of Dali. We do have a PFI in hand available. Do I have a uh, dra- oh no, it's mill. Well, Pavetta may just may just be our salvation, but yeah, being against Mill, I think we're going to want to save our save what we can immediately. So let's get our Erland. Going to need that. And we'll put back the baluster there. And, yeah, we'll use it again to get our Queen Adalia. And, uh, I think we'll put back the squirrel there. Right, so, Adalia styles onto the PFI styles. Thank you so much, and we're going to set up a one there as well. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to want to do, the only other card we really need to save is the Land of a Thousand Fables. 
So we're going to want to do that pretty soon as well. But we also want to play the Draug pretty early on in the piece as well. Yeah, thank goodness we got our Pavetta. Okay, well, we've only got one more special. So, yeah, what we're going to do now... Going to Enero for Land of a Thousand Fables. Get the smoke amount and put it on the melee row there, folks. Very nice indeed. So now we got uh, nearly a full row. It's going to be a fantastic draug here. Ooh, damnation. That's okay. We've got everything we need, but he has filled up our melee row here. <laughs> All right. Well, we obviously need to clear some spice. It's where Siege Letter comes in, folks. So we will bring him back down. Uh, we will use this. We don't want to use the Amphibious Assault to thin anything, that's for sure. So we will utilize it for the two Drowks. Come on, man. Stop. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Well... A Nero is just an extra thinning tool anyhow, so... Yeah, that's okay. Against Mill, a Nero ain't that great. So... What do we do here, folks? Um, I guess... Let's play this other PFI. And, yeah, we'll use one Draug back here. Then we can clear some space. And do a second Draug on the melee. If this round goes long enough, he's got the curse scroll up his sleeve still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Another Cantarella. That's okay. Like I say, everything left in our deck ain't that fantastic anyhow. Are you going to clear some space for us? What are you going to do with that fella? Yeah. Right. One instance of Draug. Only got us the three, but he shouldn't be able to deal with them all here, folks. He should be able to kill one, but as long as we can then clear some space up on here. You gonna go Cantarella again here, fella? Unbelievable scenes here. Okay, well... Interesting. He's actually given us some space available on the melee row for our second Draug. Two Draugs in one round, can you believe it? Here we go, and we're going to, uh, even though I think he's exhausted all avenues for this Cantarella, we will go ahead and take care of business. Kill that one as well. Um... Yeah. Ooh, this is a problem, though. We've got all these orders here, but we don't want to play any of these cards. So we will be taking the pass here, folks, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. Oh, thank you, sir. You've given us an extra card to play. That is fantastic. You just helped me out of a bind there, fella. So, let's use up uh, these charges here. Yes, indeed. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, do all this dastardly business. So, do that. Do that. Um... This guy isn't accepting his fate, so we'll kill him as well. Uh, Got to put that down. And yeah, we're not going to play any more cards, so we may as well use that as well. There we go. Okay. So we got four in the graveyard. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Beautiful boys. This Pavetta going to be our saving grace. 
Now we've got a healthy lead here, folks. No doubt. Uh, yeah, he also... Okay, here comes leader. Um, he'll probably go for Erland. Erland's not too shabby for him, I suppose. He sees what we've got. He sees that we have the Pavetta and the Sohanna and the Erland. So no doubt he can see what we're up to. But uh, yeah, we will be taking our lead here, folks. No doubt. So what you got, fella? What are you bringing to the table? So what what else can we expect? Tibor? We can expect Tibor. Um, Vilgeforts. Yeah. Take it, pal. So you should get a pretty chunky Erland there, probably. Um, plus nine. Yeah, one more card will do it. No doubt. Ooh. Cantarella? Okay, well played, fella. I thought we'd exhausted at all possibilities. Right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it wasn't quite enough there, fella. Folks, I think we might have this one in the bag, just quietly. In accordance with the Holy Scriptures. Is this, uh, now, is he going to bleed us? Perhaps. Perhaps so. What else do we have? It's all garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't want him to bleed us. But, uh... We're going to be three cards up. You know? He's not going to be able to mill us to high heavens. Granted, we could be drawing into some garbage. But, uh, we should be absolutely fine. Now, how did that incantation go? But... He's only got the two cards left. He may... He may bleed us here. Um, we're only going to be drawing an extra two. But let's see what he brings to the table here. He's got some fine carryover in the Phoenix there, of course. So, yeah, what else can we expect? Tibor, Vilgeforts. Do we want a Pavetta? I guess so. I guess we do, right? Even he, he might continue to mill some stuff out of us, but... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think we will Pavetta here, folks. We follow uh, then at least we're drawing a full hand, the full three cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Beautiful plays. All that millage is for naught, fella, I'm afraid to say. Uh, this is... This is worth a provisional six, so we'll go with that. Alright, so we're two cards up. He hasn't milled us. And... It's still going to be rather chunky. No specials here. We are drawing crap. Easy as that, folks. This is the answer to millage, of course. Now, we didn't get to pull off the combo. So, we can't leave it there now, folks, can we? Let's do it, but one more time! Alrighty. Reckless Flurry. Mm, could be. Could be pesky business. Right then, going first. Let's see how we do here. We've got a Dahlia. We do have a PFI. No drought to speak of, or any way to get it, apart from leader, of course. Yeah, uh, Squirrel could be okay. Good. Uh, I don't think we need two of those bad boys. Okay, here we go, folks. Well... Let's just uh, start as we mean to go on here, folks. Beautiful opening close. You'll love to see that. So, <clears throat> no access to the Land of a Thousand Fables or a Nero. And we're going to have to use Leader to get our Draug. Our first instance of Draug. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, pesky business. Pesky, 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 pesky business. Bah! Alright. That's how you want to play it, huh, pal? You got it. We'll boost up the left. Now, next, we will use a leader charge. We'll probably dump the smoke amount. Get one volunteer. And we will draw that... Whoa, really? Well, it's not bad. It's not bad. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And we don't have any boosted units to speak of. Unbelievable scenes here. Alright. It's really taking care of business. Now, if he has good, that is going to be devastating as well. So, unless he does anything more dastardly, we really are... Eh, uh, whatever. It's, we got a, we got a draug at some stage. You kill that. Come on, don't kill the other one. Alright, so, leader styles for the Draug styles. And I think what we'll do is, we'll put back the squirrel, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, here we go. Good, good, good. Alright, six revenants, nothing to sneeze at, folks. Uh, we got some, you know, a weak unit here. If he plays a beast, his Brock Var Hunter will be... Ooh. He'll use leader to boost this, yep. Didn't kill any. <sighs> Still only killed the one. But, uh, we can't do anything about it, and when we damage our own fellas, he's going to benefit from it. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. We're just going to carry on a little bit. Right, and we got three left, so we can kill this fella. Good stuff. We're just building up that Revenant army, folks. So we got another two. We can kill our own, of course, but the Dagger Two Blades is going to benefit there. Now, a Hemdal would be devastating. Oh, that's bad, too. Ah! Still, he's not a... Okay. Second leader charge. Still got our two fellas here. Uh, we would have to kill our own, though. But that's absolutely fine. We're going to do this. I know it benefits his dagger there, but that's okay. Do that, and put this fella down here. Ooh, although we are in a little bit of a bind, we may have to go for the amphibious assault. Uh, what to do here? We just have to hope against hope against a yeah against a uh, a squirrel in the piece. But we could kill the Hercia. What are we to do here, folks? I think what we'll do we'll go for. A Kedwini Sergeant, can you believe it? And it's going to be boosted. So, at least we might be able to get rid of some of this bloodthirst, you know what I'm saying? We're going to kill that. We're going to kill that. And Dep. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, I, I, sh I shouldn't have boosted the one, to be honest with you. But that's it for us, anyhow. Um... Is that going to be enough? No, final leader charge. Alright, pal. Take it. 
take the bloody round. Lord knows you've earned it. So we did okay. We got some decent revenants. And he's got all his leader out of play. Dagger is out of play. Granted, there's always Sig Drifter's right that could bring it back into the fray. Um, now, we would really love... Um, okay, that's good. That can get us our Nero. So, I'm actually going to dump our Erland, can you believe? Oh, uh-oh. Okay, it gets us one of these. Will we face a bleed? Well, so far, a little bit. Now, um... Alright, we're going to a Nero for PFI. Yep, we do that. Then we can land of a thousand fables for the reinforcements, get another one of those. Then we can use it to transform Amphibious Assault. Okay, never mind. Uh, never mind then. Uh, okay, we're going to play this anyway. And we'll actually just play the smoke him out. Alright. Oh, we're a card down. How did that happen? Did we go first? We must have gone. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we've seen his Igni. That's probably his, his last hurrah for tall removal. So, that's something. Yeah. Okay. So, how many did we get here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's not too shabby. Do we want to go for the second draug? Granted, we do still have leader to get a little something something. Uh, how many humans can we get down? Not that many. Not that many, folks. Um, yeah, this is less than ideal, folks. Um, it's still going to be okay. These are all units remaining. Do we transform this bad boy? I wonder. <laughs> Um, yeah, I actually am. We'll use leader to draw this. And we'll put back this. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. Okay. Okay. So that's our game plan. The armor... Uh-oh. He's going to bring back... Uh, what's he? Nothing we can do about it, folks. Nothing we can do about it at all. So, alright. We drag here. And, you know, if he kills these... Well, they're just going to get reshuffled anyhow. But... We have but no choice... The Pavetta must be played next, and Pavetta must be satisfied. Our final play is going to be the Voimir. Um, 
Yeah, so we can't get any more. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta do it. We just gotta do it, folks. Um, I fear for our Cyanum. It's gonna come down for two, as is. So, uh, that's not great, and uh, Voimir is not gonna be fantastic. So, uh, yeah. Oh well, we got uh, we got no choice here, folks. We got to do it. So yeah, he's, he's gonna have a way to kill this, possibly Blood Eagle. Hell, he could even get lucky with one of Harold's pals. All right, that does it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, don't think it really matters. A witcher with no honor is no brother of mine. Can he do, can he do it? I don't know. He could get lucky with the, the pal again. Okay. And, yeah, in terms of tall... <laughs> in terms of tall removal... Anyway, let me do some maths here. If we just sink these into this, it's worth two. If we sink it into this, it's minus two, but plus three, so it's plus one. But plus another with the Voimir. Oh, but it does help his greatsword. So, uh... Alright, we'll just sink him here. Play the Voimir for seven. And... Not a bad little Earl in there. He's still got two cards remaining. Um, fine engine pieces. I don't see any answer to this. Sure. That's a slow play. Let's see what he's got here. Your move, fella. That ain't gonna cut it, son. So even a card down, folks. And he really neutered our Cyana play as well. We got it. Never in doubt. Never in doubt, folks. Oh, he got close. Not close enough. And it's as easy as that, folks. So, look, I am out of time. We are going to have to leave it there, Big B2323. But you got three games out of me. The second is Mill. So we, we certainly had the answer to that. Unfortunately, he buggered up our Sianna here. But at least in that beautiful game one, we pulled off the combo to perfection for that chunky, chunky... Earl, and why don't you try it yourself? You can get him even chunkier. I know I have, but uh, today the uh, the cards just didn't go in that favour. But three games, three wins, three beautiful plays, and we had a grand old time. So uh, why don't you try it yourself, folks? And uh, the love affair with Cyana continues, as always. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in L comments. Cheers.